The influence of the fastest growing sport played all over the world can also be felt here in Guernsey as the number of people playing walking football continues to rise. But why do players of walking football in Guernsey love to play the sport? And does that differ to players from other clubs outside the bailiwick? In this story, we examine how and why the Guernsey Walking Football Club was established. We hear first-hand accounts how playing the sport of walking football continues to benefit Islanders both on and off the pitch. But is the sport here to stay? I think it all goes back to about 2012, watching the Barclays ad on television and seeing all these old guys knocking a ball around. I just looked at the concept, and anyway, I researched it between then and 2013 and uh, realised that Chesterfield Football Club had set the whole thing up with John Crook. I thought, this looks OK. I'll go across and have a look at some games in the UK, which I did, came back and thought, I think this could work in Guernsey. And that was really the start in 2014. I had quite strong links with GFA here because I was coaching in the schools. And I said to them about trying to put it into the clubs. And I felt at that time that perhaps that wasn't quite right. With the help of the Walking Football Association in the UK, we've been able to develop, train people, you know, get coaches in for both refereeing and, and the game. And that's really helped us out. And we've just sort of just grown slowly over the last nine years. We hold two sessions, one on a Thursday night and one on a Sunday. They're both social sessions, um, but the Thursday we introduce, uh, from time to time, we introduce competitive leagues and competitive games. We try to balance the teams out as much as possible as well. One of the key bits about getting walking football off the ground was obviously how do you find people that want to take part? And I spent quite a lot of time, I spoke to a lot of GPs, lots of health practitioners in the uh, physiotherapy side, and they just said that they couldn't see anything better than getting people out in the fresh air and, and just tapping the ball around. Walking football is, is all about fun. I mean, the, the ethos of the WFA is fun, fitness, friendship, and, and those three things are key for retaining players, and that's what they want to experience first. So making sure they enjoy the sessions. There's always good banter and good jokes going on, and that brings the, the friendship side and the fun. You know, we know that the game is traditionally aimed at the over 50s but walking football is a, an incredibly inclusive sport and it doesn't have to be just rehabilitation stroke sufferers people with parkinson's you talk to any of the players they're just thrilled at their age to be out here still playing walking football playing competitive playing for their country it's, it's just a thrill to be involved in the sport it really is i saw it on the tv they did a little article on channel tv and we're encouraging people to come i'd never played football before but I had played team sports and it sounded good. So I came along, I was made to feel really welcome by the people running it and I've stayed ever since. Everybody of all abilities can play alongside each other. We've got players coming back from physical injuries, players with some mental health issues as well. So um, it's not about winning, it's about everybody enjoying the sport and supporting each other. Sorry, man. <laughs> I think the camaraderie uh, and the social side of it as well, like we're going to home tonight for a meal and a drink, and that is, is also, you know, the great thing about it is it's a friendship group, um, so I love it. So I do the meeting and greeting every Sunday and Thursday. I've got induction packs that I give to new players for them to fill in with health declaration forms and membership forms and I collect all the players' subs money every week and make sure that then goes to the treasurer. I think the big thing for me was it, it kept uh, a lot of links with all my football contacts in the UK. From that we were able to get teams to come across to Guernsey who set up walking football clubs. We've got players who, who frankly, you know, they kicked the ball about at school in the playground for a bit and then they didn't play football again until they kicked the ball around in the back garden with their kids. And then they didn't play football again until they kicked the ball around in the back garden with their grandchildren. And now they're playing walking football. And if we can encourage other teams just to develop that inclusive approach, then I think you know, that, that's how the game's going to blossom. Things like going to the gym can be quite daunting for some people, especially if you're not the fittest of people. Whereas if you come to our walking football sessions, and it doesn't matter if you're fit or not fit, everybody can take part and enjoy it and gradually get fit together. So I think it's much less daunting than going and trying to do full on 11 aside. I think they can, they can enjoy walking football. 
and invariably players are going to see massive improvements in their mental and their physical well-being and really emphasising those areas and the importance of those is really important for people that are just taking up the sport. I had a heart attack four years ago out of the blue and I ended up having surgery and a quadruple bypass. So for me that was a big time in my life where it took me at least 12 months to recuperate. I mean I could barely walk when I came out of hospital. I was so out of breath. I do feel like it's improved my fitness to be able to now I do three sessions a week, which I thoroughly enjoy. So, yeah, my fitness certainly has, has, has improved over the last sort of two to three years. And again, Dino? I've always loved football since I was a young child, and it, it gives you well, it gives you all of the, the, the buzz feeling that, that normal 11-a-side football gives you. So if you've lost that along the way through injury or through age, it gives you that chance to, to recaptivate it and re-enjoy it and relive it in the same way. I've given up work like just over two years now and uh, walking football sessions is, is you know a couple of times a week that you look forward to having. You know, you know you're going to have a, a good laugh even if you've had a bad day at home for whatever reason, you know you're going to have some fun later on. I've always liked football and you know this is sort of an extension and it's prolonging my football career basically. Um, I was a bit hesitant at first, obviously meeting new people and that, but when I finally did come down, I really enjoyed it. The social part of it, I enjoy the laugh we get with people and I enjoy the fact that nobody criticises because I'm not a particularly good player. I just enjoy playing and uh, I don't get any criticism and it's nice to be treated like that. I enjoy the team aspect, I really do. I enjoy meeting the people and, and playing to the best of my ability. <laughs> Let me give you some change. The key thing for most of us is we really enjoy it and it's a whole new group of friends I'm making, um, which, which in your 70s isn't bad, is it? <laughs> On a Thursday session, several of us go up to the bar after and have a curry. They do a great curry here. So it's the camaraderie as well, so I've made new friends um, by coming to Walking Football. So during 2019, we were talking to the Walking Football Association about international games and how that would sort of pan out over the next year or two. And they offered straight away to come across to Guernsey. So they brought two teams over. We played in horrendous thunderstorm, but the ladies and the men did really well. The England sides won the games, but it was about the opportunity. Then a couple of years later, we then had all the England squads over and played at Foots Lane, which was like massive for them and for us because it was the first time everyone had come together. So great opportunity for, for the club and it sort of gave us a bit of a stamp really in, in the community. Yes, Guernsey have scored. So thinking about the future and, and where we go from here, the board are looking to move forward and add another dimension to the club, which includes tournaments elsewhere off Ireland and it could be France, it could be England, it could be Isle of Man, places like that. You're clearly attracting a, a wide range of people, men and women from all ages, and the fact is that everyone's involved and everyone's engaged and everyone's out there having fun. And that's, that's got to be what walking football is about. At first you might think, oh, it's going to be embarrassing. Oh, we all get that, I think, when we first come, because it's not natural to walk when you play football. And I mean... At our age, it's probably not natural to run very fast either, but uh, just come and try it. And honestly, you'll have so much fun, you'll have a laugh, and, and it rolls back the years, really. The social side has been absolutely amazing, meeting people, mixing with people. And I've been able to play football in the same game as, as my wife plays, which is something which is unique. Uh, and we've both been playing for four years now and thoroughly enjoy it. Uh, and the, the camaraderie we get from walking football, as well as the friendly contacts is just huge. Come down, give it a go. I absolutely love it. I really look forward. Um, I've been training with the um, over 60s on a, on a Tuesday evening and they have been so beneficial, so like learning tactics. But yeah, come down. There's all different levels of people down here, their abilities. But yeah, you'll fit in great, so just come down, give it a go. Every club needs to look at its finances and we've now got a handle on our finances such that we know that in the future we need to look for more donors, especially if we are going to be more adventurous and enter more competitions and tournaments. And the idea of that is to make us sustainable long term. We can always look today, tomorrow, but we need to look next year, the year after, so that actually we can make sure that we are here in a few years' time and we are in a very stable financial position. We now have just been given Sportsmark and that will continue. Sportsmark is an accreditation locally 
uh, for clubs to show that your procedures and policies and strategies are compliant with good practice and it also allows us to have some credibility with those who might want to donate money to us or might want to support us in any way. And we're very proud of the fact that we now can put the Sportsmark logo on our marketing and advertising and promotion. So that's all part of running the club properly. If you think you're too old, you're not too old. Our age groups are from 50, but there are loads of 50-year-old people that are just sitting on the bench on GFA sides and things like that. You know, come down, give it a go. It'll extend your football career. It's non-contact, so you don't get injured. Anybody who wants to come down, come down, give it a go. First session is free, so you don't, you know, you're not committed. You know, if you like the sessions and you just continue from there, you'll be surprised how difficult it is playing walking football. From players returning to the sport, those recovering from injuries, or adults looking to maintain a level of fitness, it's clear the sport offers something for everyone. As interest in walking football increases around the world, Islanders here in Guernsey continue to benefit from playing the sport and the growing community network that surrounds the club and its players. The founders of the Guernsey Walking Football Club took their time to lay the foundations upon which to build the club. Their hard work and dedication has enabled those now in the driving seat to push on with their plans for the future, which is why I think the club is here to stay. <laughs>